Hey guys, uh, I'm here today with uh, CT and IPP. Um, just wanted to announce like, our partnership and talk, like, introduce IPP and why I, I, uh, More Money Malaysia is going to be working with IPP. Great, thank you. Um, but before all that, like, I just wanted to like, give an overview as to like, what, what my thought process was. Right? So, my, like, the whole purpose of More Money Malaysia is to help you guys uh, grow your wealth um, and make sure that your money fuels your aspirations. Right? Okay. So we want to make sure that we help you guys figure out all the money related things that, so that you can continue focusing on things that you really care about, right? But at the same time, like we're, I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to insurance, to investment, to financial planning, right? Like I don't have the years of experience that um, CT and IPP has, right? Or even decades yeah. at this point. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> right? Um, and that's why I, like, I've been always like looking for like, how do I find partners that I can like really trust to help you guys with what you guys need right okay. and so uh this all started with uh you know just telling my friend about this and he my friend was telling me like how he was working at ipp and he had a great experience with it and how i should really just talk to ipp learn about them and see see if there's anything that can come out of it and yeah. i don't think i've ever really told you that story um but yeah so the first few times like i I joined him and my friend in, in his meetings with you guys. All right. Um, and just and and I slowly kind of like took over the conversation about, about like you know why are you doing this like he was undercover. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was pretty much yeah, okay. trying to get as much information as I can. Right, but like you know why are you doing this like what exactly is the value? Um, and more importantly, like I was trying to figure out like are you guys after some sort of just basic transaction or are you guys trying to create a relationship? Okay. Right. And. And like, the, so the question that really stood out was like saying, when I asked them, like, why are you guys doing this? Like, you know, we're not making a lot of money. Like, where is the value in having two of you guys, two professionals come here to someone who's only making four or 5,000 ringgit a month, uh -huh. right? Like, you could, there's a lot, there's people out there who are a lot bigger, right? And their response to that was like amazing, right? They said it was because that, like, yes, even though we're at four or 5,000 or whatever it might be, our earning potential in the future is like tre tremendous, right? And they're not interested in like the four or five thousand. They're interested in helping us through the whole process, right? And the way I looked at that was that yeah. you guys are after a long-term relationship. Right? Yeah, that's what we try to do. Yes. Yeah, and that's that's what really connected me with them. Um, so fast forward a few months, now we're here um, talking right. about this whole partnership. Right. Um, so CT, thank you very much for uh, joining me today here today. Um, thank you very much. Can you tell us more about like IPP and who you are? Like, what what do you guys? Okay, our, I think with, with regards to the details of my my credentials, etc., we we'll, we we'll provide this somewhere for okay. for the people to yeah. read rather than going well, going we'll into there. details. Yeah. yeah. Our, but first of all, thank you very much, Chun Sun, for for inviting us. And oh, oh, it's really you know, I really liked it when you were undercover <laughs> because that brought. The, the real part of me out, yeah. So, uh, and I like that rather than be, being, uh, you know, scripted, etc. But I just follow a few points. Now, I buy into your your vision, your project. You have spent time talking to me, explaining to me how a, a person like yourself, young, working hard, would like to achieve holistic uh, success. Yeah, I, I resonate with that. The IPP vision is to bring financial success to individuals, yeah. Malaysians or expect. Yeah. That's that's our vision. But after hearing from you, I think this vision becomes a larger thing whereby, you know, instead of just lifetime financial success, you want life success. And a big part of life success is financial success. For sure. Yeah, we got to weave in what you like, what you want to achieve in your life into your financial plan. Essentially that's what we are here to do. Yeah, so our our so I, I believe uh, yeah the to achieving the, the holistic financial success that's mm -hmm. what I think we'll be able to work hand in hand with. Yeah, so again thank you very much for inviting me to be part of your your partnership. Awesome. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Think, thanks very much. All right, so uh, CT, um, can you tell us more about yourself? Like, why? Who are you as a person? What's your story? Like, what what got you into this whole business? Okay, our I, I'm I'm. I've got three kids right now. They are teenagers, and uh, financial planning. I find it's a lot. You know, I got to train them from young. Yeah, I've made a lot of mistakes myself. Okay, so 
I give it give you a little background of uh, the way I grew up in the mm-hmm. 70s and 80s. I'm fortunate enough to be in a pretty affluent family. Yeah, I took money easy, very easy. You know, dad, mom give me money, but inside looking at, I'm not very account. I'm, I don't, I don't like to do accounting. I don't like numbers. I don't like budgeting. Impatient. Thirty years later, now, I'm seeing all this bad. Habits into my life, and it's it's really detrimental. We have to teach the young people, especially my own children. Hey, you, you got to be patient. You got to be uh, uh, budgeting your money. You got to be careful. Yeah, make your money work hard. Yeah, I I like the book uh, Richest Man in Babylon. Make your money work hard. Like a slave, so we got to incultivate this kind of ideology to the young, because giving money alone or property or wealth, you can finish it up, you can squander it. But more important is how do you make money and make your money grow. Financial planning is definitely, definitely a key in a person's success. That's how I felt. So it brought a lot of. Meaning to me, as I realized the mistake I made was so long ago. Uh, now I do not want my children to go through the same thing. Yeah, you know, it's easy to get things done. Easy to get things done. To doing things, to doing things, to doing things. But to budget and to do is to plan and to execute hard work. That planning is hard work. That's what we are doing. Financial planning. Okay, so. Um Like when you were talking all about that, like it actually reminded me of like one of my own experiences uh, growing up. So, uh, for those who may have uh, followed me for a bit already, uh, I actually lost about thirty thousand in investments, right, uh, throughout university, right, and that was like that was a lot of money. That was everything I've saved up, all the times I've worked, um, you know, um, internships wow. and all that, right. But that wasn't even like the worst part. So the worst part was. At the end of that, like losing thirty thousand piece, like it didn't happen. Like it over happened over a few years, right? But at the end of it, like I was, I've already told myself, like I want to make these same mistakes. I want to make these same mistakes. I want to make these same mistakes. But I, ma- I started making the same mistakes again, and I just got so frustrated with myself, right? Like I was like, so this, like to give you some context um, here. Uh, so I was like investing in stocks at that mm-hmm. point. Right, and I just got you know going back to the impatient. I got impatient because it was a a really slow day, and I was just like, oh, I just want a hundred dollars to spend for the for the weekend or something. Right. Right. So what did I do? I ended up buying options at a on a or like a tech okay. company, super okay. volatile, okay. Um, thinking that oh, you know, it can just rise a few a few bit, you know, just a bit, <laughs> and I'll be I'll have a hundred dollars. Right. But what? What happened instead was it started going against me, and like all of these mistakes I made in the past, like started right. coming back up. Like I told myself I wouldn't do that. Why am I doing that? Came right, back, right. And it just like, I got frustrated. I got like, like and it became worse. Yeah, and then, like that that emotion is like that. All that negativity just took over. Yes, I couldn't think clearly. Correct. And at that point in time, my uh, girlfriend came back, and she told like she when she got back, she was asking if I can um, spend some time with her. Mm-hmm. Right. And all I like all I could think of at that moment was finally a way to get all this like all this anger out, right? So oh I exploded. Yeah, I exploded on her. Oh I told her goodness. to just go, like you know, in a, a much like more vulgar way to go away, all right. right? And like leave me alone, right? Um, you know, and luckily for me, like after that, like I regained my consciousness within 10, 15 minutes. I accepted my mistakes, right? Right, right? but. Um, after like I, you know, closed my position, accepted my loss and everything, I went to uh, check up on her, right? And she she was about to commit suicide. Oh my! Right. Goodness. So she had a knife in her hand, and she was like, she was about to cut herself, right? And I realized what I had what I had done because normally when she asks me to spend time with her like that, she's going through a state of depression, right? Uh, and and like norm and I would know that normally, right. um, and I know that when she's in that state, she cannot. Like she can't trust her family, she can't trust her pa- or her friends. Right. The only person she can trust was me. Right. And when she came to me vulnerable, I told her to essentially go away. Right. That her that her life was not worth, like she, that it was not worth my time to help That's her. That's right. That's right. Right. So that 
that little time that the one time you did wrong yeah was a great impact on someone else yeah yeah like, and and that's and that's when that's when it really hit me up like right. you know like why am i letting money like hurt the people i love right and like right. How can like how can I let something as stupid as money True. take over something as important as you know a lover a relationship yeah really yeah relationships and all that and th- that's that's how I started learning right wow. like that was that was the mistake I made that and that I wanted help I want to make sure people don't make through their own lives wow right um, wow. so um, I can, I guess the reason I'm sharing all that like that's my story so right. do you have anything similar like a, a, like a mistake that you really that you really that you made that you that really hurt you and or your family and that you're just like so committed to just making sure people don't make that same mistake again different ways yeah different ways yes our we have made mistakes plenty of them are overall a lot of mistakes a lot of good mm-hmm. yeah are offhand the most recent one is perhaps getting myself a car that is you know, costing me too much. Yeah. Yeah. Our the maintenance was just horrendous. So, yeah, mistakes like that. It doesn't only have hurt us personally. It hurts the 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 the, the people around us. It hurts the the business. It hurts everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but rewinding it is hard work. Lots of discipline to be done. Yeah. You know. So, our how to solve this issue as simple as budgeting mm-hmm. back to the book the ancient book of uh, richest men in babylon the key is in budgeting yeah yeah totally agree. so once you have that budgeted out you are not going to let that affect you emotionally and you are right when the, the emotion is affected your mind is totally blurred and you cannot think straight and you cannot you know, not clear. Yeah. So having a proper financial plan will give us a clear direction. So have I done mistakes? I think yeah. We we thanks for sharing your mistake was a really, really uh, t- what they call touch me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, makes what I'm doing a lot more meaningful. So yeah, those are an examples of things that we have done mistakes. Our other mistakes would be not that bad. I bought a house those days, 20 something years ago, bought in a location, price pretty high. I could have bought two smaller houses in a prime location. Yeah. But because of wrong mindset, I chose that the other house. Yeah. Now that two houses that if I've chosen a prime place, each of those houses is more expensive than my house. Technically, if I had both houses, one of the house, I would have paid off all my children's education. Yeah, wow. You see a financial error that we made years ago will catch up with you. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say it is total failure because if I had not bought the house, I probably spent off the money. Yeah. Did yeah. get it? Yeah. So, yes, I've made mistakes here and there, but overall, I think with my little practice in financial planning helped me a lot. Helped me a lot. Otherwise, like I mentioned earlier, I took money easy. I mean I took it lightly. Yeah. Yeah. No patient, no budgeting, no planning, just executing. That's not the way you live a life. No rich people would do that. Yeah. No nobody get rich by accident. They get rich by hard work planning and making sure they work in the right direction. Yeah. And nobody is going to build a house without knowing you are able to complete the house. Isn't that right? Definitely. That's all yeah. about budgeting. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I think uh, I, I would like to share a, a famous quote that I live by, by a gentleman by the name of Ben Gowen. Okay. Yeah, he's a legendary though in the United States in the insurance industry. He says, uh, only fools learn from his own mistakes. So, I'm here not to share only glorifying things to to everybody. Yeah, to share the mistakes that we have done. Just just like what you have shared just mm-hmm. now. I think that's much more meaningful to anybody out there. Yeah, who wants to who wants to 
who are serious in planning their financial success or life success. I think that's important. Yeah. To share what we have gone through. Okay. And to share what clients have gone through as well. Yeah, yeah. And that, you know, a lot of that resonates. And the fact that you don't have to make the mistakes yourself, there, there, there are ways to get around that those mistakes, yes, right? right? And for me, like the way I'm, like I've learned to like, you know, fast forward the five years or six years or whatever it might be. Like I'm doing really well for myself. Like I, I figured out my a lot of my stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's because I found people who are, who are professionals in their in those is like I, I accepted that I was not professional in a lot of these things. Right. And I found professionals to work with, right? Right. And that's right. So like you know, IPP being a professional organization as well. Like, what is IPP about? Like, can you tell us uh, what you offer and okay. how you're different from like other people okay. or other advisors? This this is where our the uniqueness of IPP comes in. Our we realize that financial planning must be made very very simple. Yeah. Because planning itself is hard work. Yeah. And if we make financial planning so so complicated, everyone would have lost the interest. So what IPP did was, uh, uh, Mr. Wee, our chairman, mm -hmm. some, some 30, 40 years ago, he wrote a few financial models and all these things put in together is comprehensive financial planning. Yeah, so one of the key things is we want to make it extremely simple yeah. and put it on paper. It is just like if you are going to build a house or, or if you're going to renovate your house extensively, you've got to get approval from the authority and you've got to have a blueprint. So a financial plan is a blueprint. We want to encourage people to get started. So we are not going to walk people down with the comprehensive or the very detailed uh, uh, super planning. Keep in mind, most people never even plan. Yeah. So we start with something simple, and, and I like this. You, you have gone through it, you, you know? Yeah. You were testing For those who are watching, watching this, yes. it is, that is my name there. Yeah. So, you know, we, we come up with simple things, with uh, simple benchmarks, yeah? Our, our simple understanding for everybody to get started. It could, you know, a person could be a fresh graduate, could be a 35 years old business person. This is still applicable. Yeah. It is simple enough for people to get moving. Right, are they one? In fact, the person, what the highest range I've used this to with is a person who is a, a business person. He was about forty years old then, and uh, his net worth then was about ten million. Wow! And when he, when I went through this simple one with him, he said, "Hey, this is so easy, you know, because it, you got to start something simple." Yeah. Right? Planning don't have to be complicated, and if it's complicated, you're in, in trouble. Yeah, for sure. right. So before we we go into very very comprehensive things like this, this is crazy. This is just lots of numbers. Yeah, and pie and charts and all those things. Are we encourage people to go into something simple, yeah, something simple like this to get started. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about this is to make IPP unique. We before we even recommend products. It could be as simple as a 500 ringgit a month regular investment. It could be as simple as a 300 ringgit a month regular insurance. We will document it and we will explain to you why. Yeah. So that you are accountable, we are accountable and why, the, why is it that you make a choice on this, which product, which company, etc. It is stated here. So that at least we have got a a measurement, yeah, what whatever get measured get done, right? Yeah. So that that's what we try to accomplish here. Yeah. yeah, and it's very encouraging. If this year is the first year, next year is your second year. You get a second one, third year, fourth year. You are able to see your growth. You are yeah. able yeah. to see your your rate of growth. Then you are able to see, hey, given another ten years, twenty years, I'm getting there, man, and it gives you that. Confident. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So that's confidence is such a huge thing. The uniqueness of IPP, besides the fact that we are a you know Singapore's uh, leading financial planning firm with presence also in Hong Kong, this is the one that we pride ourselves. Yeah, that we are able to write a plan. Yeah. So one of the things I always tell my advisors, how do you distinguish a real financial planner 
from a fake financial planner. Right? The scenario is like this. If you are the world best paid actor, mm. you look like one yourself, <laughs> right? You are able to act as an accountant. Alright? Okay. The accountant will never be able to act like you. That's for sure. What is the difference? You can act so well versus a genuine accountant. What's the difference? The accountant is able to write financial statements. The actor will never be able to. You get it? Yeah. This is the financial statement that a financial planner is able to write. It's your cash flow, it's your budgeting, it's your asset liability, it's your ratios, etc. It's your benchmark. Where do you want to go? What's your objective? Mm -hmm. It's just like an accountant writing an annual report for a public listed company. We are writing an annual report for an individual like you and I. Because you and I, we got to treat ourselves like a huge company and manage every single yep. money that we have. Yeah, yeah. So that's what makes IDP unique. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and um, I just want to echo that piece there, right? Like, I've heard of so many, I guess, friends who who have been approached by their friends to buy an investment or buy an insurance, yeah. right? But a lot of, in a lot of these cases, like these people are doing a part time and they don't really know what they're selling, right? So that becomes a huge issue because, like, they don't. You can't really say they have your interest in at heart, mm -hmm. right? Whereas with with this anyway, like because it's written written form, yes, like I can easily say like, well, this is what this is what we've agreed on. Like, yes. why is this? Why was this product offered? And you're you're very transparent with all of these things, right? We, we try to. Yeah. We, we try to. You know. And the whole objective is really to build trust. You know. You could be in your twenties. If I look at you currently, you are making five thousand bucks. It doesn't mean much to me. But if I look at you, hey, the next twenty years, thirty years, if I'm able to work with you, you trust me. That's a couple of million bucks. 5,000 a month times 30 years, probably about 2 million, a million and a half, 2 million. Yeah. That's a lot of money. I, I like to do that. Yeah. And, and putting that aside, of course, I do have my own client base over the last 20, 30 years. Uh, they could be uh, uh, SME owners. Yeah. They could be professionals. I work closely with professionals. Yeah. Because mainly because my Chinese is not very good. Mm -hmm. So I speak very well deal very well with the professionals, are uh, done their wills, done their buy-sell agreement for their companies, uh, so many things I've done, gone through with them, you know, I've seen so many, several became multi-millionaire and several became billionaires, you know, so it was a privilege to have friends like that, yeah, but the hindsight, again, you know, I still deal with a lot of young people like yourself, are uh, and also because I'm not without resources. I've got a team of uh, advisors with me. Yeah. yeah. So very often my advisors will be helping me as well. Yeah, to, to, to handle, yeah. Yeah. you know, client based and stuff. Yeah, so that is how I work. Yeah. I still like to work with the younger people. Why? I want to understand my own children well. <laughs> That's yeah. important. That's important. If I'm able to understand you well, I think I'm able to understand my children well. They're in the teenage. Yeah. In a couple of years, they will be like you. So that's my ultimate objective. I want to be connected with the younger people. Then I'm able to understand my children. Yeah. I hope to. I may not be perfect parent, but I hope to. Well, okay. By what I've seen so far, like you, like the relationship you have with your daughter is like it's, it's oh, amazing. Yeah, I, so I hope you've done I a great job. Would continue. <laughs> I hope that would continue. Yes. Thank yeah. All right, so CT, uh, another question I have, and this is this like, so the way I look at this is, I want to work with people who I know have my best interest at heart, right? Yeah. And correct. That means that they have the ability to recommend me like the best products, not caring as much about their commission per se. Okay. Right. Because that's okay. that's always in my back of my head. Is like I don't know, I don't know if someone is. Like offering me this because they, they make up a lot of money out of it, or yeah. if it's actually uh, for my best interest. Yeah. Right. So that said, um, 
right now, IPP is not an independent with insurance, right? For insurance, we are not yeah. yet. Yeah. So can you explain your rationale as to like why you decided like that was not as necessary? Okay, let, let me just backtrack a bit. In financial planning, in financial planning, there is two huge industry. Yeah. yeah the first industry is the investment. You know, our company name IPP, mm -hmm. investment. I stands for investment. Yeah. So investment is a very, very big part of financial planning. The reason is because why you want your money to grow very fast. You, you want your money to grow properly. Yeah. So investment is a growth yeah. Yeah. part of your money. Are the the P the IP yeah. the second the second alphabet P is protection. Protection is insurance. Essentially, insurance is a very defensive product. Yeah, as long as you've got a good insurance mm -hmm. to make sure that your defense is strong, that that will take you for a long time because you don't churn insurance. Yeah, so that that that's why we 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 chose to be in the hybrid system, hybrid uh, financial planning model. In Malaysia, in Singapore, totally independent. Okay, so in Malaysia, we are independent on the investment part because it's a growth part, and you put most of your money there. And insurance at this present moment, are uh, we we chose to stay where we are. Uh, the the re and also because the company is very supportive of us. Yeah, the the company does not tell us, hey, you cannot sell investment. I know there are so many other companies who. Re Refuse their their sales personnel mm -hmm. to recommend investment product from other companies. Not so with our principal. Our principal is very gentleman. Say, hey, you do your job properly. Make sure you you know your client well. Give your client the best. Yeah. Do your insurance well. But if it is investment, recommend good investment to the clients. No limitation. Yeah. So yeah, that, that we find that model very well. Yeah, we are not being pressured to sell only insurance. Yeah, yeah, and obviously, uh, this principal company of ours may not have all the best products. Yeah, and we we have got some very good products in that company that will be sufficient yeah, to make sure your defense mechanism in financial planning, your defense is well done. Mm -hmm. When your money is on the offense side, your offense must be tracked carefully. And if any players in your offensive team is no good, you got to switch. Yeah. So investment has to be independent, so that you can switch with minimum loss. Insurance, when you switch, it's going to be great loss. Mm -hmm. yeah, so insurance okay. is a long term thing. So you briefly mentioned, like you know, that this company might not be the best in everything. This one's uh, company. Come. Yeah. For when it comes to insurance, when it's in a, so, if I were to come to you and I had like you know my my circumstances, um, you realize like oh wait this insurance company might not be the best fit. Would you still would you tell me that or would you like how would you handle that situation? I, I will let you know. I would let you know, and in comparative to others, yeah, that you may have in mind. Yeah, you may have friends in the in the. So call the product that you yeah. want, and we can do a comparison. Yeah, we compare, we guide you how to compare products with products. Very often, uh, manipulative salespeople will compare apple and orange, which is totally wrong. Mm -hmm. We we will help you to understand apple has to be compared with apples. Yeah. Okay. So we, we will do that. So you, we welcome yeah. we welcome other companies, you know. And if it's genuinely the other company is better, we'll let you know. Yeah. So this this is a very transparent conversation that we try to yeah. we try to. Okay. You know. Obviously we like the, the you know yourself to come to, to us. Yeah. But as long as you trust us, you know, and I think you, you will place most of your 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 products and services with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that trust to us is more critical than the sale right now. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like like I say, our we we are happy with our 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 business model now. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we gain all the sale right now. We we lose some. Yeah. Yeah. But long run, yeah, the customers still come by, hey, I've got this product, can I consult you? Of course you can. See? So awesome. So you, you do help keep you do help consult people on their insurance or their investment. Whatever they already have. Yeah. Whatever they already have. 
Perfect. Insurance is one of the things that we try not to terminate to get a new one. Yeah. In the industry, they call it twisting. Because if you terminate your old insurance, it's really detrimental to your to your to your financial uh, uh, program. Yeah. So I guess that's all more important to work with someone who actually knows all their stuff up front as opposed to you know buying something yeah. and then a year or two later or five years later come back like uh, I don't know if this is actually helping me. Yeah. Right. But not having that said, uh, if it is investment it's easy we can yeah. switch. But yeah. if it's insurance we try to look at it like a safety net. Yeah. Sometimes the safety net has got holes and you're walking on a tight road and it's not very good. So what we do is we try to patch the holes mm -hmm. okay. rather than changing the entire safety net. Yeah. We try to patch the little part. Okay. Yeah, so at least when you're walking on a tight rope, is you you are still okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's just how we take a, our approach. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thanks for bringing that topic up. Yeah. So CT, uh, last question for the day. Uh, yeah. What advice do you have for young people who are just like you know who just started their careers and are still trying to figure out life? Ah, then I like to travel back to 20, 30 years ago with my first manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has done good things in my life, and he made a statement that I remember for forever, and I, I still do say that to younger people. You know, he said, "Those days I was in the twenties," eh? and he said, "City, you know, young people do not like time. Young people do not like motivation. Well, you do you know what young people likes? What is it? Direction. Okay. Clarity of direction." You know, so what he's trying to say is get your direction right, get get it clear, then you run your race. That's that's what he was saying. I live by that and I like it. And now that you know we are talk on the topic of financial planning, do it right. Because financial planning makes success more predictable. Not only predictable, your direction is clear. Your, your, not only your, your income, but not only your finances, but also your career. Doing everything, your, your personal development. Put it properly. Plan your life. Yeah, put it on paper. Yeah, and we, we take on from there. Yeah. Success must be mathematically predictable. Yeah. And when it is predictable, you will feel so confident about your future. You will have a greater self respect self image mm -hmm. yeah and your your inner thermometer will be will be at a very peak level and when people talk to you they understand they, they can feel your confidence that you are someone going somewhere they want you to be part of their team and that's how you see your opportunity going further and further ahead and your your income will definitely grow mm -hmm. that that's how I, I would suggest you know being young do that okay. you take yourself seriously People will take yourself seriously. Yeah. But you yeah. take yourself lightly. Nobody wants you. They want committed people yeah. to be part of their team. Yeah. And you you will see lots of opportunity coming your way. Awesome. So getting clear on direction. Um, how does like where does IPP help with helping people get clear on direction? Like what can you what type of services do you offer that can help them on that path? Well, Fundamentally, what we do best, our uniqueness, write a financial plan. The program working with you, you know, I buy your idea, I buy your vision, yeah, and and we want to get people started. We are able to impact life and change people and to be better, yeah. This is something that I, I would do, yeah. yeah, and that is the reason why I agree with you to have a good value for our 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 audience out there mm -hmm. are get them started first. Yeah. That that's what I might believe with you. So it's not about the fees at all. Yeah. It's not about the fees at all. Yeah, yeah. So for those who are um, wondering like what exactly is you referring to, so um, we've actually agreed to offer this whole uh, service, which usually costs eight hundred and eighty eight, was yes, it? That's right. Um, and to drop that price down to 88 because we want to make sure we get this out, out to as many people as possible, right? Like, yeah. just get just get started, get some sort of direction, and, it, like, it can do you wonders. And yeah, for me, sure. going through it myself, like, I found this so powerful, like, 20, 30 pages, like, all, like, detailing things that I, I should start thinking about, 
or um, you know advice about like how I should build my foundations. Yeah. Like it's it's been a huge huge like help for uh, for me already. So thank you for that. Thank you. Um, so I guess the like I guess just building off that then. Uh, do they have to work with you after they finish one of these? Well, obviously we like to say yes, yeah. But some people they may have their own choice, mm -hmm. yeah. But then, our I, I would advise the fact that you know you got to look for a genuine financial planner, yeah, somebody who can do this for you, because it is you. Mm -hmm. It is not what I want. It is what you want. Yeah, yeah. you got to do something best for yourself. You see, looking for a financial planner is just like if you need a surgery, a heart surgery, example. Mm -hmm. You would go to, would you go to a, a friend who is a heart surgeon, cardio, a cardiologist, or would you go for a real good heart surgeon? Oh, I don't. I definitely choose the like as much as I would love my friend. Um, I would want to make sure you know for me or for my loved ones that I'm taken care of first. Exactly. Yeah. You know, on the high, on the other side, as a specialist, example, I'm I'm the specialist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you are my relative. Do you know I'm not allowed to operate on you? Do you know okay, that? Yeah, I know. Because there's this issue called the emotional attachment. Yeah, okay. So a husband cannot operate on the wife. You, yeah. you get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A surgeon, even a surgeon has got that ethics. We'd like you to 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 employ similar uh, uh, approach. Yeah, go for the really good ones. We we believe once you go through with us, we believe that you know you will work with us. Def definitely, that's what we like to. Awesome. Yeah, long term, like I say, building the trust first. Yeah, and I guess the, another way I look at this whole thing is, yeah, I mean, like if you're the type of person who like loves numbers loves like figure out like insurance policies investments all by yourself and like doing all that research by all means i i feel like do, like go for it right like you're probably going to go down a career similar to ct all yeah. right welcome oh. to our, <laughs> our career yes yeah. yes but on, on that term you know i do have you know when when you engage us it's just not me alone yeah i've got a team of people they're in the 20s they're in the 30s they're in the 40s so it depends on the need of the individual we are able to come in to, to help out. Mm -hmm. you know? So it is a team, not just me alone. Yeah. I've got a team of about 15, 20 people. Yeah. Awesome people from different parts of the world. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. And I just, just wrapping up the thought there. Um, yeah. Like you could technically do it yourself. But if you're, if this isn't something that you actually enjoy and it's probably one of the reasons why you haven't really done it, then like why don't you just start surrounding yourself with, like people who do this professionally so that you know that your like that side of your life is taken care of, that your finances are taken care of. Um, so that you can continue focusing on things that you you do love, right? Exactly. Like exactly. there's there's so much there's so many things out there that um, you would probably want to do and to learn all this yourself, like for me personally, like even though I like these types of things, like I know I'm never gonna be a professional as and like follow all the information as like IPP here. Right. right. So for me, like I know that it makes sense for me to just find someone I can trust and create that team of professionals around me, so that right. I continue doing what I love. Right. And that's right. like helping educate people on financial literacy. That's the secret of leveraging. Yeah. On time. Yeah. Great. I yeah. agree with you. Thank yeah. You. So I guess with all that said, um, if you guys have any other questions about um, our partnership or anything in general, feel free to leave a comment uh, wherever you're watching this or listening to this. And I'm sure we'll be able to get back to you soon. Um, besides that, uh, do look out for all the videos that we will be coming out with. There's a bunch of going to be. There's going to be a bunch of videos about insurance, about investments, like helping you understand all the fundamentals there. But first, go through the process and let's work this out. Yeah. Go through the process that we have organized. Yeah. The, the videos, one, two, maybe three. Yeah. And we'll be able to work this out for our audience. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, CT. And Thank you. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye.